Aid me. Be my eyes. We don't have time for philosophical discussion. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. You should be confused. Oh! Ah! That's new leather! Show me what lies ahead. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach.
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods, or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.